I'm like a sporadic coffee drinker. Like I'll have coffee like like maybe like twice a week. I like it with a little bit of cream and a whole lot of sugar. The first time I actually had coffee was with my grandfather and I was five years old. <laughs> so you can imagine my little ass was just bouncing off the wall when he gave it to me, but it was my favorite thing to do with him. So coffee has a really sentimental beginning meaning than it does now. <laughs> Co-sign from the interns uh, came into a session and I remember we started another song, took a break, and then he was like, let me play you something. I'll never forget saying, is this taken? You know, you always have to ask that question first. Sometimes people or producers or writers do play you songs like that some people already have, which hypes you up and then you just irritate it in the end. But this was not that case, thank God. I recorded it, but I recorded it 10 times maybe, because of course Sid from the internet wrote it. I love Sid's ease. Like her ease on it was almost this like samba kind of vibe mixed with this like effortless cool. And I just wanted to have that. And every time I kept singing it, it was just so tight. I need that wake up. It was just too tight. Finally, I had a couple of glasses of wine and um, just went in and sang the song and it was, so quick and it was so easy and I just had to remind myself to just sing it don't think about it and just like have a good time with it because that's the kind of record it is it's a bop coffee and sex in the morning mm -mm. breakfast in bed got me morning I feel like there's like a effortless kind of sensuality and in, in like confidence kind of energy you wear the rest of the day especially when it's good. When it's good, like you got a different kind of walk. People can't talk to you a certain way. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You're like, you don't even understand what happened to me. And nothing bothers you. Nothing seems to bother you. You're like in a really good mood, like just chilling. Before you go to work, I need you to go to work. It's two different cycles of work. I need you to work in this bedroom or work in the shower or work in this island in the kitchen or work, work, period, before you get to your your real job. Part of my sincerity, you know I'm a rarity. My love be a therapy, all around remedy. We grow up with all of these different personal challenges that we might experience, whether it's trauma or just, you know, early relationships in your life. When somebody can love you past that pain, that just ups the ante for the love. Baby, who instead of me? The bitches will never be. My husband and I were friends first. So I would know about all of his little escapades <laughs> with his little boo things. And I was like, oh my God, how, how am I gonna measure up? I struggled with confidence when we first started to like, like each other. I was like, oh, what the hell? Am, how am I gonna like, am I gonna have to swing from the chandelier? What am I gonna have to do? to impress this guy. And I was like, oh, I need to learn some new tricks. <laughs> but funny enough, I'm, I think he was like thinking the same thing. You know what I mean? So I think it's important in any relationship to communicate and tell the person how you feel. And it's like, I don't believe in faking orgasms. I think that when you fake orgasms, you're setting the person up for, for failure. They'll continue to fail you every time. So you have to be honest when it comes to what it is that you want and desire and not not apologize for it. Put it down like it's heavy, baby. Honeymoon now, wedding day day. Just give it all to me. Don't hold back is <laughs> what I wanted. So put it all out, lay it all out. Put it down like it's heavy. Like wife me up, you know what I mean? Like snatch me up if, if you think it's that great because it's going to be great. So put it down like it's heavy, baby. I need that wake up. Soon as we wake up. On Saturdays and Sundays, we have our time together in the morning. Recently, it's been to watch The Last Dance <laughs> during the week. Like we're up, we're moving um, because we feel like, you know, during the week, like that's your time to like really take care of business. So he'll start the workout. I get my, my son up. Even though we're in quarantine, I still feel like you get up, you put on your clothes, you have something to do. You know what I mean? I just want my son to get into a routine to where when he gets out into this real world, he's not just twiddling his thumb. Wish we could lay up, still stack up, pay up. That lyric actually made me think about this trip that we took 
to um, Turks and Caicos. And I remember like in that time, we would just wake up, have breakfast and go to the beach and literally be at the beach for like eight hours <laughs> and do nothing. That's like literally a fantasy. Oh, how great it would be to not work, but you still making money. <laughs> that lyric can maybe happen in like, you know, 10, 20 years, you know, where you're building businesses and uh, figuring out different like stock market moves, if that's your thing. So, you know, it's just like actually putting a lyric like that into fruition. It's like, you have to work your ass off now. <laughs> you running late, but need you to stay up. It's almost eight. No time to waste. No time to waste. I almost missed a flight to Australia fooling around my husband. <laughs> and I was to be at work as soon as I landed, like it was, I was to be on set of The Voice. And I remember I was like, I gotta go. Like, and it's the worst to be looking at the clock and you trying to have this moment, but you gotta go. <laughs> you know, you got the best of me. I know you need the stress relief, babe. Someone just taught me how to make oxtails with like rice and gravy, right? And it was so good. I'm so proud of myself because I can't cook. So this turned out really good. He was actually in here um, working and he was like, I sound really ridiculous when I say this, but can you please cut the meat off the oxtails? Cause he just got into eating them, but he hates to do the work. So I was like, fine. I literally sat in my kitchen and I was like, you are cutting meat off of this grown man's bone from this oxtail. But that was love. Like I was like, I don't, I didn't want him to like, I was so proud of him because he was just in here just like working his ass off. So I was like, no problem, baby. I'll do that for you. And I did it. He literally like inhaled it. So I had to do it again. So it wasn't, it wasn't like I was just, ho oh, hum. I was like, God, you know what I mean? But because it made him happy, I didn't care. I wanted to do it. Before we both get dressed to leave, want you to try this recipe, babe. Before we head off to work, Let's definitely have us a little sesh session. I know we just woke up. I know you gotta go, but breakfast isn't over. I see the way you rose up. <laughs> they say morning will do a body good, babe. Well, you know, they say that, that milk does a body good, but sometimes you can switch that up. And that's, it was just a play on like that phrase. It's, milk does a body good. No, 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 boo boo. Not all the time. <laughs> Not if you're lactose intolerant. Sometimes that D just might set you free. Clearly you agree. Don't be trying to leave. Stay here with me. I'll put you right back to sleep. I'll get you right for the week. We can break hay in the sheets. Let you parlay in this pretty pink. I remember like in Houston or just in the South, people always like, y'all, man, you don't parlay over here. You know what I mean? Chill. You can just chill in the pussy. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes people can take morning sex as they start asking too many questions. You know, oh my God, their breath and this and that. I'm just like, I'm sure you can figure out a way or position to um, avoid the morning breath. So we grown, figure the shit out. You got it.